Hey, welcome to my little channel. This video was recorded yesterday when Hurricane Ian was down in Florida, causing a lot of devastation. But here it was still pretty calm in North Carolina. And I decided to go at lunchtime to take one of my walks, but to take my time while I did it. Because there are some walks that you take for the sake of just getting steps in and exercise, but this was more a walk that was to observe and to relax and to enjoy, just for the sake of walking. I took my time to notice the trees that now are letting their leaves all fall to the ground with the changing of the seasons since October is right around the corner. And to take in the beauty of how moss climbs up an old tree and how the sunlight comes in and it peeks in through all the branches. and to listen to the eerie, the kind of beautiful wind before a storm. Look how blue the sky is, the calm before the storm. Because I took my time my walk was shorter. I didn't go a full mile and then back. I just did about a little bit over half a mile. I was treated to the last few little blossoms of summer. They're few and far between, but you can catch them. Take a look at this beauty. Pretty color pink and all the detail. And at this time, you can also see Autumn coming in, making her entrance. Beautiful. So that was yesterday. I get up this morning and I'm letting out. The girls, the girls, Richard Piper <laughs> and Lassie, out to the backyard. And as soon as I open that door, I see, I hear that wind that is ripping through. And it's, it's colder, but it's colder because now, like I said, it's almost October. But it's a light drizzle. And you know that there's something coming. But we were, uh, as I was making this video, I saw across my screen that it said that it, uh, Hurricane Ian just made landfall in South Carolina, which is where we always like to go to vacation. We've gone to Myrtle Beach and we've gone to Hilton Head. I think Hilton Head is, is okay, but um, I know Myrtle Beach is, is getting hit by that. And we always went to Destin, but Destin was, was okay too. It's, it's more like the Fort Myers area and all that. And we saw that, we were watching that before so we did go out this morning because I had already had the half of the day off to take Bill to the to his doctor, and the doctor happened to be open. <laughs> so we we went and we I, we took him and everything. And um, then after that, I was supposed to go back to work, but last night they had called me and said, "Don't come in in the afternoon because we're going to be closed." They take it seriously because even though we are in Western North Carolina. And we're pretty much inland. We're closer to the mountains than to the, to the ocean. But still, some years ago, before we moved down here, Hurricane Hugo went ripping through this area and devastated homes and you know broke people's hearts and such. So that's what that's what storms end up doing. Ultimately, it breaks homes and and people's dreams and everything. You know, so. Prayers to those people who, everyone from Florida to the Carolinas and Georgia and anywhere else that this strikes, 
for where those people that are in, in, in the way of the, of the store or their, their homes are. But it always, I wanted to make that point because it always, I always have noticed how during these kind of things, hurricanes, storm surges, tornadoes, we always hear people say when they go back to what used to be their home and sometimes there's nothing left of their home and there's bricks and glass and all of their belongings and everything is gone. And we can all relate to that. We all can understand that. That's something that is primal in us because that's your home. That's your the, the roof that is over your head. That's where all your memories are and everything. But ultimately, it's a building, you know, and it's 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 something you they uh, they say that some things that you own that we've only owned two different houses, this one and another one. But a lot of people own two or three houses, and they'll be in 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 many homes in their lives. But it always touches me how, even through the tears, people will say, "Well, we lost everything. Our home is gone. Can't believe it's gone." But at least my family is okay. At least I have my husband. At least I have my health. And that always really brings me back to that part that we all understand. All of us, somewhere in our hearts, we do understand that those are the things that matter. No, nobody wants to lose their home. Nobody wants to come home and find your home level. Nobody wants to find that if you have a pretty boat that you take out on the weekends, that that thing is in the middle of, of the boulevard, you know, it was carried by the ocean. It's, we're watching that, it's like, it's wow, it's amazing. But if all of those things that, that we own, all of those things that are really little things that we, we can accumulate here in this life, but we're not promised that we're gonna have them forever. But when something like that happens, we realize the things that are truly important, the truly important things are that we, at the end of all that, that we have ourselves, that we have our family, that we have the ability to start over. And for those of us who have faith that we have the Lord and He is always with us through every storm, even the ones that are not physical storms, but the storms in life. So I wanted to take the opportunity just to make this video and to remind you of that, to remind you to say a prayer for those people who are in that path. And if you or a loved one has been in that path, please know that people are praying for you and also for the rest of us to remember what really is important. And it's, it is simple. It's very simple. It's not all of the things, but it's the treasures in heaven. So I just want to thank you for coming and sharing with me today. I hope that you've been touched with, by this video. And I pray that wherever you are, that you be blessed. Thanks again for watching.